Okay, welcome back to the Posty by Charity Build for Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, pretty exciting one today. We are going to put the engine in. So you've been following the engine progress, all the work we've done with it. Um, we've finished painting up that um, clutch cover, as you can see it's sparkling away there. And we put the seal in for the kickstart and we cleaned up that, that strainer um, and refitted that and cleaned out inside the cover. So. Um, I've got young Trent here to help me out today to put the engine in before he runs away for his Friday afternoon rendezvous with his girlfriend. Um, so I'm just going to set the camera up in a second and just watch you put in. It's easy with two people to put the engine in. Um, we normally, I'd normally lift it up, put the back bolt in first, um, and then I can tilt it up and put the top bolt through. Because you've got some cables, uh, this, you know, um, the wiring loom, the coil for spark plug lead comes out there, um, and you've got the fuel leads which come up above it, but just to hold that stuff out of the way so that when you put the engine in, you don't pinch that on top of the motor. So um, I'm going to set this up and turn it on, and me and Trent will um, put the engine in. All right, we're going to have another crack at this because. We started it and my phone rang and um, we had it in. Now <laughs> we'd have to take it out so we can show you how to do it. So that's the top one. Top one, yeah. Just leave them in there. That's the back one. Um, so we're going to lift the motor up or the engine. I'm going to sport it underneath. We're going to get it back in in the middle here. Trent's going to slide the bolt through for the bottom and then once he gets that bolt through, I support the, the load of the engine. I lift it up, he checks that the wires. Um, and everything are free and locates it and then he slides the bolt through um, just so that we're not getting anything. Once the bolts are in, we, you know, uh, you don't need a hand anymore, you can just put it in. I've done it by myself. It's not fun um, and I don't want to scratch a nice shiny new engine, so we'll give it a crack. So we'll lift it up, Trini. So we're just getting that back in now. Okay, I'm good on my side. Mm -hmm. Just give it a bit of a wiggle. That's right, in. yeah, yeah, through there. So I've got the weight now. Yep. We'll push it up. I've got it all. Yep. You just concentrate on those wires. Yep. So they're both yeah. sitting in the recess. Yep, they're all good. Okay, so I've lifted it up now. Yeah, that's all over. Yep. Okay, now she's in. You can sit back on that thing. So I can get the bolts or the nuts on it now. Um, and do it up and tension it, but that I find that's the easiest way um, than trying to get the. If you put the, the top bolt on first, you're liable to pinch and scratch and do all sorts of stuff. So um, we'll leave it there and come back in a sec. Alrighty, so um, this is just a little quick one today, just putting that engine in. Um, had to do it while I had the help when young Trent was there, so I'm just putting the the nuts on. Uh, we've got nut with a spring washer goes in here on the smaller bolt. This one, the longer one at the top, has two nuts and has a uh, bracket that goes in here um, that holds the plastic cover. So um, I haven't got it at the moment, so I have to get that and clean it up. But you get basically put these bolts on, and I'm just going to tighten up these nuts, and then that's the engine in for today. Well, for now, um, it's looking good. Looking good, we're happy with that. Um, yeah, it's got an engine. We're getting closer. Now the fun stuff begins, hooking it all up, so. Um, all the new seals and all that stuff, so. It's gonna be a good little bike for someone. Okay, thanks for watching, see you soon.